everybody, Ms. Sire here from the Free Library of Northampton Township. We're here today for a Crafternoon project. Let's get started. When you came to the library to pick up your kit for Crafternoon, you should have picked up a bag with bottled glue and a paint sponge in it, a whiteboard like this, and you could have chosen one or two boxes of cereal. At home, you'll need a pair of scissors. We're going to make cereal pop art today, so it should look something like this when you're done. Pop, pop art is a lot of fun, it's really bright, and uses all different shapes and colors. So this is a project where you can really get creative and be yourself. Use your imagination and do whatever looks good to you. I'm going to hang this sample up here so you can take a look at it. That's the one we made at the library. And now let's get started. We'll show you how to do it, okay? The first thing I want to do is look at my cereal box and decide what things I want to keep from the pictures and words and what things I'm okay with cutting into pieces. And the easiest way to cut the box is to go up one of the seams on the side, just like this, so that you can open it all up and it's one flat piece and you can cut off anything that you want from it. Okay, the first thing that I see that I like from my box is this big picture of the spoon up here. So I'm going to cut that out first. Make sure I save that. Once you start cutting, you'll see a lot of things go into much smaller pieces. And I want to make sure I don't cut up anything that I want to save for my picture. So one of the things I wanted to make with this big spoon was to me it looks like a nose. So I'm going to make two eyes, a nose, and a smile for my picture and then I'm going to put words all over it and fill the background in with lots of bright colors. But I'm going to get started here at the library and you work on yours at home, okay? In the meantime, this is how you go about doing it, putting it together so it stays nice and it comes out really great like this. So if I want to use this on my piece of board, I'm going to take just a spot of glue, dab it on there, and stick it to my board while I'm working. When I'm all done and I have my pieces laid out how I'd like them and how I want my picture to look, glued, they're glued on there with just a bit of glue so I can move them around slightly before they dry. But once they're all on there and they're in place exactly how I want them, then I'm going to pour some glue into a cup or a container and I'm going to use my sponge to paint over the entire thing with glue so that it all stays on the board and it stays flat on the board. Otherwise, it's going to start to curl up when it dries. I hope you have fun with this one at home. It takes a little while of time, but you'll have a great time doing it, and it'll turn out really, really neat. I'm super excited. If you want to, please feel free to post pictures of what yours turned out like at home. We would love to see what you've done. Take care now.